All right, guys, time for our Casa Roble Fan of the Week. And this week, it's going to Hazel the Goat. Check this lady out. She is the Fan of the Week. So tell me about Hazel the Goat here. So this is our beloved Hazel the Goat. She is five months old, and unfortunately, when she was little, her mom passed away right after birth, but she's grown up in the classroom. Everyone loves her. All right, now time for our Del Oro Fan of the Week. My man, tell me your name. Uh, Nolan Long. There, Nolan Long. All right, you're the Fan of the Week, and what do you love about Del Oro and the Golden Eagles? Oh, we got the best spirit for sure. Okay. Uh, we always come out hot, and we're always there for every game. Yep. Our student section's not that good right now, but if you go to a home game, oh, we'll be wild. Thanks to Nolan and, of course, Hazel the Goat. Welcome back to the second half of High School Playbook. I'm Michelle Dapper, and we continue our Northern California Honda Dealers High School Playbook Game of the Week, and your votes sent us to Orangevale. It's a battle of unbeatens. 3-0 Casa Roble hosting 4-0 Del Oro. It was a blackout for the student section. Rowdy crowd. Second quarter, Del Oro up three, but the Rams take the lead here. Connor Campbell, 32-yard touchdown pass to Logan March. Boom, he's into the end zone. 7-3 Casa. Del Oro turning it on in the second half, though. Caden Finnick, 15-yard touchdown strike here to Marcel Urquhart over the defender there. It's 10-7 D.O. After a Rams fumble now, Del Oro capitalizes. Finnick this time using his own number. Powers his way in for the one-yard TD, 10-point lead. They weren't done late in the third. The pitch now to Urquhart. Check this out. Spin move activated. He escapes the tackles and it's a 33-yard touchdown run. Del, Dero, Del Oro staying perfect. 5-0, 31-13. Proud of all the coaches and players and our community for showing up, coming out here, playing hard, and uh, doing a great job supporting our boys throughout the season. Started off a little slow, but, you know, came in the second half and just knew that we got to kick it up, got to make plays for our team, and just first play, See how our team reacted and just kept on making plays and just see, kept on seeing the reaction of it. And that was exciting and that was fun, so. Fly, Golden Eagles fly. Both Toke and Grigori coming into the night at three and one on the young season. A cat fight as Toke makes the 40 mile trek to Grigori from Lodi to Modesto. The Tigers on the prowl in the first. Timmy, TK, Caragonis finding Jackson Batch for the 32 yard touchdown here. Watch this, he drags the defender with him and he finds his way into the end zone. 7-0 lead there. But the Jaguars answer five minutes later. Connor Bailey finding Trey Webb. Spider-like hands, beautiful grab. 18-yard score, it evens things up at seven. Then in the second quarter, Toke's defense comes up big. Marcus Castro, right place, right time. Comes down with the interception off the deflection. And he's got skills on offense too, everyone. TK tossing it out to Castro in the backfield and he does the rest. Carves his way downfield. Set up a six inch touchdown by the time he was done here. And then TK says he'll finish the job. But Gregory edging out Toke okay tonight, 21 to 20. The Modesto Christian Crusaders looking to hand Stormridge Christian their first loss of the season in a non conference tilt. Knights take the lead on Dejan O'Neill. He goes to work on the ground, finding the hole and in for the 13 yard score. Late in the second quarter here, it's a 13 to 6 lead. The Crusaders trying to keep him in this one. Jeremiah Bernard, they call him a ball hawk, comes down with the interception to grab some momentum heading into the half as this is the final play of the half. The Stonebridge Christian just too much in the end. Mark Andres recovers the fumble on the first play from Modesto Christian of the second half. Knights stay undefeated 37 to 6. Let's take a time out now to listen to our high school playbook band of the week. This includes, of course, the 45 member Pioneer High School Band led by band director Marissa Finlayson. Take it away, Patriots. <laughs> All right, a Delta League season debut, both Cosimnus Oaks and Elk Grove. Brandon Lambert was a force in this one. No score in the second. Marino Forgata drops back. Quick pass. Lambert, and check this out. Great blocking, and then the phenomenal speed here. 59-yard touchdown run. It's a 7-0 lead for the pack. Thundering Herd, though, down 10, but begin a stampede. They pitch it out here to Thomas Coy. Takes the rock in for the 46 yard touchdown untouched to pull within three. It was all Elk Grove from there to open up league play with a 35 17 win. That's it for week five for our high school public crew. I'm Michelle Dapper. We'll see you back here next Friday night for week six of the high school football season. Have a great weekend, everyone.